Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love. Welcome back to my channel. I'm out here, y'all, because I done went vegan. Yes. It's been the fourth day without meat. So I'm going to the Whole Food Market. And um, I've been looking at Tabitha Brown. And she been, uh, you know, she been making up these recipes and stuff, you know. So I was going to make me up some recipes. You know, I'm a follower. And um, I'm going to see what I could do. Put my little thing on it. You know, like I said the other day. I got a little, you know, idea that I want to make some gravy and I'm going to put it over some brown rice, but I'm going to add some mushrooms and all that. Y'all going to see, we about to go to this whole store. And this is, uh, the, like I said, the fourth day. I ain't even had my full body cleanse yet. The herbs ain't came. Oops, that's a secret. Anyway. But I'm already feeling good in my body. You know, just fasting itself feels good. You know what I'm saying? Power bowl. Uh, and a um, green smoothie a day, baby, it's life, okay? So this is what we're doing. So we out here, come go with me. Okay, y'all, so I ended up at this vegan restaurant because I had to try it, okay? I'm going vegan, so I got to know, okay? So it's very interesting. I'm trying to put these people on camera because they're going to be like, could you please get me off the camera? But this, uh, you know, this is somewhere in Ann Arbor. I got my friend Tanya, hey! <laughs> And um, we are trying this vegan restaurant that she knows about. And I'm gonna try their vegan food. I'm gonna let y'all see, you know. But I'm ready to do this, okay? Yeah, I did. So what's the name of the soup? Um, tortilla. It's a tortilla soup, y'all. It's vegan. These vegan too? Mm -hmm. These vegan chips. I wonder what they made out of. I don't know. I better not get them. This is, I'm gonna try it, y'all. Mm. It's like tomato soup. A tomato soup. I'll let y'all know when my bowl come out. Okay. Stay tuned. This is my power bowl, you all. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I got avocados. I got kale. Got brown rice. Thank you. You're welcome. Got, what's it called? The pico. What was it? What you mean? The with the the uh to pick to pick those. What is that? Is that what that's called? That's pico. This is pico. Oh, and I got my. Oh my God! This this, this is gonna be so easy, y'all going vegan. I can't remember. Oh my God! What is it? Oh, it I got must one. Be your dress. Oh, I don't know. That's for yours. Uh, you got one too? I don't know, girl. What is this? Um, that was the um lumberjack. No, that's not the lumberjack. That's the taco. Uh, taco bar. Do you know what it it's a taco. Oh my god. It's like a taco salad. And then you know this is tofu and the avocado. I want to try one of the tofu. How many tofu? I want to pick out of a hand. I don't want to touch it now. I'm trying tofu for the first time, you all. It's a texture thing, I think, more than no. It's like fish a little bit. This is good, you all. It's not going to be hard. This is not going to be hard at all, going vegan. And like I said, I already got some recipes, so I am so excited. Yo, let me try this, this power bowl I just showed y'all. I already been prayed over my food. You want to pull up pork, we're going to pork right here. Oh, is this the F? I got a pork. Let me try the pork. Oh, my goodness. I'll pull it. I'll try it. I didn't turn it into a power bowl person, you know. I'm going to try it. Oh, I got a little tofu in this. I am so happy. Yeah, I'm vegan. I'm vegan, y'all. I'm vegan all day. Look at that. Got kale. I'm vegan, y'all. It's on. Too late. It's too late. Okay, y'all. So I'm at Whole Whole Foods right now. I'm starting to get this dish that I'm making for my vegan uh, meal that I'm making. So I was looking for. There's Portobello. But he's a cat. Oh, should I get the kind already sliced up? 
They say the Portobello's, I mean, they like, this is what the size that I would want them. So they ain't gotta be Portobello, right? For, for meat. Portobello mushrooms. Those are big. Organic portobello mushrooms. They ain't got none sliced. I would have to slice them. I don't want to do that. But you want them to be Because what if I don't slice them, huh? But you want them to be portobello because that's what the, the recipe say, right? <sighs> that should be hard just to slice them. You get the caps like that and just slice them. No, this should be bad. What you doing? I just hope I got enough. I'm buying two. Okay, so I decided to go with the portobello, but I'm getting these two because I want these for okay. a stir fry. Okay. Okay. This is all the stuff yeah. they got in here, y'all. The whole foods. What's that? Organic. There's tofu, Tanya. Season it up though. I'm scared. I don't yeah. want to take nothing I don't know about. So okay, I'm yeah. taking my time at this. Yeah. Oh, meatless farm. Hold on, what is this? Plant based burgers. Oh, this is going to be fine, y'all. Silken tofu. Uh, oh, here it is. Here's my plant based. Okay, so I saw Tabitha using. I'm going to try this. She has some farmhouse cheddar. Then she had, let me see. It was some other stuff that she said it was good, but oh, this was it. She had this Parmesan, plant-based Parmesan. Oh, this is gonna be so fun, y'all. This is gonna be so fun. We can do this. <laughs> You're the guinea pig first then. Yeah, I'm being the guinea pig. Oh, look you all. The whole organic wheat tortillas. They got almond flour tortillas. Cassava flour tortillas. Oh yeah, that's gonna be my store from now on. What? <laughs> Look at the name of the sauce. Ooh. <laughs> okay, you all. Let me do the rest of my shot now. Oh, sweet potatoes. Oh, I gotta make the sweet potato chili. Look at them sweet potatoes, how pretty they are. Yeah. Pretty. So we're in the line. Now I'm see what this comes to. I got my mushrooms, my shredded cheese, my paste, the things that I'm making. Woo! What's that say? Little items, y'all. Not bad. It's a little light in the way. <laughs> I like this story. Sixty dollars now. <laughs> I just thought about something while I was on my mind. I just wanted to go ahead and say it. It's like if you want to eat, right? Man, this is expensive. You can't take the carts out? Yeah, we can. You do? Yeah, y'all, it, it, it takes, I mean, it's gotta eat right, right? I ain't one of them ones where it's gotta be in the trunk. Hold up, I'm coming. So I did a lot of walking today, but I'm glad I did. Cause it's, it's good to like get to moving, you know, and stop babying this because I'm going to walk again. I'll show y'all everything I got when I get home. You'll see it when I get out the bag and everything and when it's cooked and all of that. So, y'all, I'm really going vegan and I'm really trying to do like a plant-based diet and that's what's going on um, because I am trying to uh, basically come off of all my meds and I'm also um, doing a 30-day cleanse detox. Um, with the herb, I spoke with the herbologist like I was telling you all on my live. So I'm really, really excited. Um, this is the fourth day though with no meat. I did have like a power bowl. Um, y'all saw my vegan dish or whatever. And um, also that, you know, the brown rice and I'm gonna try to, uh, black beans are good, but I'm gonna try to uh, replace it with um, chickpeas or whatever. 
And um, you know, I'm just trying some different stuff. So anyway, these are the um, Potabello mushrooms. I'm gonna chop these up, y'all. These big mushrooms I'm gonna chop up because these are gonna become my meat and I'm going to use them over in the gravy when I place this, uh, am I gonna do it over the, the rice or the noodles? So I'm trying to figure out which one I wanna do. Hmm. I may do these stir fry, uh, stir fry these um, with uh, bell peppers, yellow, red, and uh, green ones, and some onions, and I'm gonna um, chop them up, and I'm gonna put some avocado. You know, I'm gonna do. I'm just telling y'all what I'm gonna do with them. Um, and I'm gonna make it like a gravy over the penne. Um, how do you say penne? Uh, noodles, chickpea noodles. And I got these just extra, just in case, just to go over the meat, but with the meatballs I'm making. Um, this is plant-based Parmesan style. So I got some cheese. I bought some more um, mozzarella style shreds because I do, like I said, make power bowls or whatever. And I'm really trying to outdo the dairy too. I got my paste because this is a part of the recipe of those vegan meatballs that I'm gonna make. And this is the um, vegetable broth that I went out and bought. This is gonna help a lot. So it just pays to do your body right so you don't have to go through stuff like this later on in life. Oops, get it later. Um, this is the brown rice flour that I bought. This is part of my gravy, you all. It's part of my gravy. Um, this is the Earth Balanced Vegan Butter Sticks. Yeah, let's see. I'm going all out, y'all. If I don't go all out, I'm going to go off. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I got two boxes of these because this is the Banza um, penne uh, made from chickpea. And this is what I'm going to pour the, um, I guess, I don't know if the meatballs is going to go. I don't want the meatballs over this or some rice. I don't know. When I do that video, I think, I don't know, I'm going to make both dishes. So that way I can turn it into a meal prep so I can just be done with it in one day. You know what I'm saying? And, um, this is the, um, rolled oats by Bob's Red Mill Rolled Oats. This is for the meatballs, you all. Unless I say vegan balls. And I, I couldn't find no, no salt. So um, I got sea salt. Um, the no salt seasonings and 21, uh, 21 Herb Salute or whatever it's called. It's at Trader Joe's. And I found out that we do have Trader Joe's and it's on um, Washington, I think. And uh, a little further up in Ann Arbor, maybe. I'm not sure. But um, I'm going to go get that. But right now I got sea salt. And, I'm, and I have um, sprinkled 24 herbs and spices. It's by, uh, it's organic. And it's salt free and it's by Bragg. So y'all know that Bragg vinegar. Yeah, that's what I got you all. So these is all my ingredients that I'm going to use to make a stir fry like meatball or whatever. I'm making two meals, by the way. Um, I got the cheese, I guess, later on for my power bowls or whatever. But um, it's going to be the meatballs. Not meatballs. Vegan balls. And uh, vegan balls and gravy over brown rice or the chickpeas or whatever. And then it's gonna be like the um, the stir fry. I really kinda, I don't know. I'm just gonna be playing with this a lot because I gotta get used to it. And I wanna make different ideas. Y'all, I have been eyeballing Tabitha Brown, all her recipes and stuff. So I'm like, okay, I can make this. Cause I never tried and thought I could do it, but I can do it. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. And I'm gonna do this because um, it's not really for, oh, I gotta look this way or that way. This time it's really for my health, y'all. I've been saying it for the longest. I'm not playing this round. It's really for my health. Um, I um, Four days without meat, you all. Um, my pain in my ankle is lifting. And it's telling me that, yeah, you, you need to maybe lay off the meat. Um, I've heard a lot of testimonies and stuff um, from people that are on... Um, be, was, were vegan or whatever. I mean, were eating regular and they became vegan and they were talking about how their chronic pain had left and all. So whatever I can do to make myself feel better, um, aid, aid my body to getting back. Basically, I'm, I'm getting my life back. Basically, I'm getting my life back. I'm fighting to get my life back, y'all. Once y'all in shape and y'all young and when y'all out there, y'all young folks don't be taking advantage of you know, just going to this restaurant, eating that. Be careful what y'all eating, you know, figure because you're young, you know, you'll burn it off. But I'm saying, you know, um, watch the things that you go through in life too. Emotional eating can really damage you. You know, just, you know, 
just eating wrong for your body period because you will get to this age you will get older and you will hurt um it's not worth it in the end but i don't have to feel like this like i said i am only 51 years old and i'm not gonna feel like this i'm not i'm taking my life back and um i speak life over me in the name of jesus i speak good health over me and this is a start right here um <laughs> that was my first vegan restaurant that I ever went to. I figure it like this. Look, a lot of people say it's going to be hard to do. Good luck. I feel like this is easy for me because it's it's not hard. Um, It's not um a hard task because I figure all the years that I've been eating and pigging out, I didn't taste it. Every restaurant, I didn't taste it. Every food up out there. The first time I had vegan restaurant, I mean, uh, food and went to a vegan place just to get myself acquainted with it. Plus, I was out shopping for this and I didn't want to be out um out and about hungry or whatever. So, I'm glad I did. I feel good. I I feel good in my body like I said, no meat. I don't have to I didn't I didn't have fried chicken, baked chicken, broiled chicken, roasted chicken, boiled chicken. I didn't have chicken all kind of ways, you know what I'm saying? And um I I I I, I ain't going to forget the taste, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, you know, it's this time to, you know, get it together and reverse this curse. You can reverse the curse off your life. So that's what I plan on doing. Look forward, uh, y'all, to y'all seeing the video. When I'm, I cannot wait to make this meal. However, I ordered a food processor. It was supposed to be here today. It's not here. Um, so I can't do anything anyways because that's what I want. Because y'all, I'm that serious about it to even go shopping for this vegan food. And with my food processor and some other items that I ordered just to make it easy for me. And if I can, you know, I, I'm going to try my best to, you know, get my kids. So, you know, try it and see if they would want to go this route. But right now, I'm not going to force them. It's kind of like, look, Reva, focus on yourself for right now because you are the one that's aching and in pain. You are the one that sees everything going backwards. And it's not going to happen. I just I just can't be like that, you know. What's what's a pretty face? And, and you you know, you ain't, you all limping in hell. You can't, you can't, you know, it ain't matching. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just don't want to be like that. I want myself back. And I was out with my old friend today. Y'all, that was... Uh, my high school, not my high school friend, my childhood friend, Tanya, me and her caught up on a lot of things and um, I miss my friend, even though I was, you know, she, she said you left me and I just never knew where you went and I thought I always did something wrong, but it wasn't that. It was just the fact I was, you know, growing up, going through things in life and I went my way and she still stayed where she at, but, you know, I just had a lot of things going on in my life with my marriage, you know, after before I left home with my parents and then my marriage and then everything just this, you know. But catching back up with her, I felt real good. You know what I'm saying? And she's a, she's a really good supporter. She's always been a good supporter of me. That was my best friend. Like that was we was little kids, like 7 years old, I think, when she knocked on my window and was like, "You want to come out and play?" And it was it was winter time. I'll never forget that. And we've been we've been like friends ever since. So um, I said all that to say, I'm just glad that she's back in my life and I'm glad that, you know, she's still the same and, you know, she's a great supporter and everything. And so, yeah, I don't want to bore y'all, but I'm going to end off this video and y'all look forward to, yeah, it's going to be really, really interesting. So I, yeah, y'all please come and look <laughs> at the vegan recipe that I put together or whatever. My first vegan meal recipe. Y'all got to come over and see it. Y'all got to give me some play, y'all. So with that being said, look forward to seeing y'all all. Also, Saturday, 6 p.m. Prayer Live. Hey, peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.